chef for Pasta Shop, Martin Hoffman, Scott Miller. Scott, take it away. How big of pieces you want to cut these in? 
Now, we see here all kinds of different props. This grinder right here is a grinder that I bought many, many years ago when I thought I was going to go into the charcuterie business until I went to Bruce Adele's kitchen in Berkeley and saw what he was doing and soon found out that I wasn't sure I wanted to do that. Um, but basically, if you buy a KitchenAid at home, you can get these attachments that go on the front. And these attachments will allow you to grind meat through the front of the KitchenAid. Um, the only thing that's really important if you're grinding your own meat is that you want it to go through the, the head of this thing very fast. So basically, this would fit on here like so, and then you can put various sizes of plates and blades in here. And so you're putting the fork in here. Now, obviously, that's a very small hole. So one thing that's really important in, in the grinding process is that you want to keep it cold. So in order to get it to run through here very fast, you got to cut this up into pretty small pieces. You don't want the pork to be backing up and you're sitting there trying to get it through. You want it to be able to move through pretty freely so you can get it out and continue on your process. Um, obviously, for instance, for a grinder of that size, this is the blade and this is the plate. Now, we use a plate that has a 3 8 inch grind. Most sausages are made from about a quarter inch to three eighths for just the basic sausage. Sometimes chorizos and andouilles are a larger grind, more like a uh, half inch. And then things like breakfast sausage or merguez might be more like an eighth of an inch. But again, this is what you're gonna see in this. Now, the one we use at work is this. So obviously we're using a machine that is, you know, as big as half this table and the meat is going through very, very fast. So we have here all these different sizes various sizes of grinder plates and blades depending on the size of your grinder. But again, the most important thing is to let it feed through quick so that the meat doesn't heat up. Um, as far as ingredients, now all of you have a little handout hopefully, and in that handout there is a recipe for sweet Italian sausage, which is what we're going to be making today. So, if you look at that recipe, you're going to see these ingredients. Now, basically, I just want to talk a little bit about what we use in the sausage. We use a combination of spices. Now, on the recipe, you'll see uh, whole fennel, ground fennel, four spice, uh, onion powder, salt, and pepper. I believe that's it. And the only things that may be different about how people do it is some people toast their spices before. We like to toast all our fennel before we use it. We toast it, we grind it, and even on the whole fennel, we use toasted fennel. And it gives it a, just a little bit better flavor from our, from our point of view. And uh, of course, we're using kosher salt in, in all of our mixes. Um, the herbs, we use fresh herbs, chopped fresh. Um, again, it really depends on your preference, what types of herbs you guys like. We use parsley, sage, thyme, uh, oregano, and rosemary. No basil. Basil tends to turn black in a sausage a lot quicker. So again, fresh herbs, chop these this morning, and then we use red wine, and we use roasted garlic. But again, the matter of preference, some people use fresh garlic, some people use roasted garlic. So wine and garlic, fresh herbs, and then the spices. Now, 